And joining me now is Marvin Alfred, the president of ATU Local 113. Marvin, welcome. Negotiations were down to the wire last night. What was the mood like at the negotiating table? At times, frustration. We're dealing with a situation where our proposals were clear from the outset in trying to protect job security, benefits and wages of our members. Unfortunately, it takes this much time for the TTC to be enlightened enough to make a proposal that does not have the strings attached and things that deteriorate from those proposals for us to adopt and agree. This is a problem that they've created waiting this long, but this could have been resolved for a number of days. What were the sticking points in the negotiations and what does the framework for the deal look like? We actually have a signed deal. We, about 3.30 this morning, working through the details and making sure there are no nuances or gaps that could be exploited by the employer and making sure we protect the member's future and member's job security going forward. So we do have a deal signed unanimously by the executive board in order to table to our members. Are you able to give us any details on that deal? Not at this time, but we can happily uh, let you know that we have job security as a paramount issue being addressed and our benefits and wages for active members and pensioners being addressed as well. So for, you know, looking ahead, what needs to happen to help avoid, uh, you know, a potential walkout? Pardon me? In the future, you know, what needs to happen to help avoid a potential uh, future walkout? So we have a situation where the TTC, for whatever reason, plays these sort of games in, try in rounds of negotiations rather than bring the authentic resources in order to address and have a deal. We go through this circus uh, in order to get a deal, but the TTC, uh, for, for whatever reason, and the city being very confident that the deal is almost there. Well, that deal that was almost there, they brought to the table late. We were firm, we were clear, and if the chief TTC and the city choose to act this way in bargaining, we'll be going through this every time. All right, Marvin, thank you. Marvin Alfred is the president of ATU Local 113. Thank you and have a good day.